your father leave you home alone with no protection so neglected mind you it sounds so That's dark when you listen to it the shit you so obsessed with it's so excessive they acting like it's so aggressive but you just never known affection i don't want to dish you anymore this really got me second guessing stop it touch my body by my ride carry yep. play. you probably when you say that you don't hear him waving a white flag, how do you take, I don't want to diss you anymore? This really got me second guessing. I see a lot of people saying, where did he wave the white flag? There are white flags within the song, but there are also moments where he insinuates that he's still in the game. But you got to highlight the moments where it sounds like he is waving the white flag, like right there. I think he just missed the mark. So when he says something like, I don't want to diss you anymore, what I take him to do, I think he's trying to copy what Kendrick did when Kendrick said, this is, uh, I'm trying to spare you. This is just for sport. I'm not going to tell you mm -hmm. the truth. Or I could go deeper. But I I'm could go deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those instances it's, where Drake is trying. Yeah. He's attempting to be like, I yeah. don't want to dish you anymore. Oh, oh like, don't yeah. make me do it. Don't make me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just doesn't come off uh, as confident. It doesn't come off as convincing. It yeah, sounds yeah. like, I don't want to dish you. But like, he, he's not playing to his strengths. If that's Clearly. true, if that's true, you are too deep in the rounds, into the rounds, Drake, for you to be talking about what you don't want to do. When you was telling a nigga, drop, 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 it, it's just like... That's true. We're like already in it. You are like, in the thick of it, bro. <laughs> this is not the time to say, oh, I don't want to diss you. This ain't the time for that, bro. Because what you don't understand is even if you did interpret it like that, the general public is going to take it as a white flag, which they did on social media. And this song hard. It's fucked up. I wish he wasn't explaining himself. Why this the angle that you really mess with? Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. Pause it. I'm way too famous. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, because he was still talking about it, but I I'm think I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies. <laughs> I've been hearing things. That's what he sounded like. And seeing things on the blogs, and you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God, um, <laughs> all of them. Um, Got little girls trapped in the basement. Helicopters over my house. Oh Drake, my God. Drake has to. Uh, Drake, who is the king of the internet, has to know what replying to some of that shit sounds like. Especially when we've already got the R. Kelly Gale King interview. What do you? What do you? Like, what did? He, what did he think was gonna? He said it just sounds. <laughs> I, like I woke up the next day. I literally was like, "Did he really say this?" And I went on Genius.com, and he literally said. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I would have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested. And I literally think that was like the worst way. The worst I knew thing. people want him to, to acknowledge the pedophilia allegations. I think that was the worst thing he could have ever possibly <laughs> Penned. did it. Like, I, but the fact like, that he didn't I, know that. I just literally said that incorrectly because I'm so shocked right now. Like, <laughs> I can't get my words out. But you guys know what I'm fucking no, saying. No, you're right. It's like, oh, bro, how God. tone deaf are you? That's what it sounds like. I don't know how to hog that, people. <laughs> Why would I hog that? No, people. <laughs> you the king of the internet. How did you not know they was going to hit them bars? And, and then the thing is, you're on defense. So it's like, now your fans are listening to you from a very defensive state. So you're not necessarily landing blows on him on this one. You're more just like, no, I'm not this. I promise I'm not that. But Drake, that's not how this shit works. The people with the most money, and I'm not saying that you- Get away with it. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you. And I'm not saying you are one of those people, but if there's people that the, with the most money who are able to get away with some of this nasty stuff, it's because they have the funds and the, and the, and the facilities to He said, I'm too famous to be a pedophile. That makes Crazy. no sense. There are mad sense. famous that pedophiles. That makes no fucking nasty. sense. There are mad famous pedophiles. I don't like Damn. I, I just, yeah, he, he, he should have kept this song in the talk. He should have kept this beat for another day. That's the beat I so was, hard. I thought this made you put the OVO oh, cape no, back no, on. No, no, The only thing that made me put the oh. OVO cape on is Thinking I'm desperate. Thinking it's not over? I'm desperate. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. That's hard. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, That's so hard. the the last episode that we did, right? Yeah. We did the same thing. We did a breakdown, right. song by song, bar by bar. We played something. We let it stop. Like, we sacrificed the health of our YouTube channel. Again, yeah. shout out to everybody who tapped in. But that's a real thing. Like, yeah. all those views, it helps, right? Yeah. Like, we don't have backing. We are independent. Right. So every single dollar that comes in. It, it matters, right? It does. Like, and, and that's why I think going back to strategy with Kendrick, one of the beautiful things that Kendrick did is he welcomed the creators, the independent creators. Like, mm -hmm. look, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can monetize off of these songs. I want y'all to break it down. I want y'all to play it. Mm -hmm. Go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Even while we're breaking this down, I am falling asleep. <laughs> 
How many women do you mean? Like, the cake that I brought out for Drake, <laughs> I'm ready to wrap myself up in a blanket <laughs> and just like and knock out. I want to skip everything that he's saying because none of this shit it like is yeah. putting me to sleep, and I feel bad for the audience that we got to do this to them because nobody gives a fuck about what he's saying. Oh, I don't know. If that's how you felt about this song because I agree. Like, <laughs> this shit is fucking like sure it's a nice beat hey, hey, everything he's saying hey, doesn't matter to me you got hugging. a new car right yes hey I tried to spin it in the beam it don't hit the same I had to turn it down niggas is looking at me that, like, wait no no I think, nah, I think me, no no, no I think no, collectively I'm sorry. collectively <laughs> Everybody, I feel like not 100% of people, but like 85% of people, kind of after this dropped, everyone was on the same plane, feel like, oh, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> and, 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 and that's why I think it's bad because he put the energy out. And I think the beautiful thing about just music in, 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 in general, it, it is an energy exchange. Yeah. Everything's an energy exchange, in my opinion. Right. But music in particular, especially when you're in a battle, when you're like going against somebody, a formidable opponent, like you have to keep up that energy, keep up that pace. So everything that you're saying, you're not saying you just anything said it though, to him. But you just said it though, a formidable opponent. Facts. Why do we all believe that in this room and Drake doesn't? His arrogance. The arrogance nah, that he speaks with. He didn't hear this shit. That's I why. So, he clearly. Yeah, when that motherfucker finished that shit, nah, nah, fuck that other song, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Must have done a beat. Now we your key. Get your key. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Put the case up. Come on, bro. Why? Because it's no way. It's no way, bro. There's no way he put that out after this. After this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to this. Alex. Beat your ass and hide the body. You got some. Never mind. Sometimes you got to pop out and show me this. I'm the one that got some. He got some. What the fuck? Run, like, run, 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 run for your life. On the, on the for real. He's asleep, on a, bro, But on the for real note, I, I, I thought, I think that was his version of um, uh, uh, Meet the Grams, Meet the Grams yeah, yeah, yeah. where he was trying mm. to get all deep and surgical on you and talk about Ooh. your family, but it did not it land the same. miscalculated timing. Very yeah. miscalculated timing. Like, which, which weapon to use? He, yes. grabbed, he grabbed the wrong one. Yeah. Drake, this is the wrong time to not respect Kendrick. Shit, even when this shit started and you still was on your arrogant shit, you doubled down when you put out uh, the Taylor May freestyle. The moment you heard how layered Euphoria was, that was the time to give formidable respect to your opponent. Real Thanks. shit. Thanks. Even if you got all this ego inside about who you think this nigga is from years ago, mm -hmm. no, man. This nigga dropped the fucking quintuplet. Quintuplet. <laughs> but I think I, this even, you. I, 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 said that, I said that on the yeah. last episode. Like, right. This is not the time to have bras in your studio. <laughs> Not titty time. Not there titty should time. be no thongs. There should be no bras. There should be nothing feminine around you. There should be no feminine energy that you're trying to harness to make anything against this type of opponent. Just straight masculine ego. You need to like, <laughs> yeah, like all, like you got bodyguards. Yeah. I'm sure you got bodyguards. All them niggas is on testosterone and steroids. Uh, they should be. Now nah, they working too hard. Put you heard the story the that studio. came out. Yeah. The shooting? Nah, and thank God, thank God I everything is okay at the embassy. Story, them niggas, them, his security guards are getting overworked. Yeah. It got okay. Twice, and then there was an, a, another attempted one recently after the fact. But see, that's the thing. Again, going back to predictions on this podcast. Yeah. I told y'all, shootings got to happen. <laughs> don't do that. Nah, don't do that. They're not connected. Don't nah, do that. Nah, nah, don't nah, do and that. I'm, I'm glad everybody's okay. <laughs> They're not connected. And everyone will continue and, to be okay. And that's the goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But... There's a certain energy that you put out into the world. And when niggas shoot up your house, you're talking like this. Yeah. You invite that energy into your orbit. That's just, sure. that's the reality of it. Like, and again, you, you're a rapper, hip hop, all of this shit. Like, it comes with it. So you kind of can't pick and choose. And I think a lot of people have a problem with Drake. He tries to pick and choose. Again, let me pick my cape up. I stomp that out, but I'm a. Yeah. You keep going that back and forth. Off. You're confusing nah. me. I'm going to wipe that bitch off. <laughs> Poor cape. Nah. But like, you can't come with that. After this, and, and and really quick, before yeah. we even get back into the other song, mm -hmm. do we have to play that song? Got to. Really? At least play it out. What song? Out of, res out of respect for your man Drake. He responded. Bro, that shit is not, I don't want, it's bringing me down. <laughs> like, it's bringing, like, listen to what he did to Atlanta, him. Atlanta, when you need a check balance, let <laughs> me break it down for oh, you. This the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. What the what fuck? Little baby, help you get your nigga love. up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you, you a slime in your head. head. Like, what Cravo said, you can be from North, North side. side. What 2 Chain say you good, but he lied. He lied. You when you need a few dollars. No, you not a colleague. You, you a, a fucking, fucking colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then you put, like... Dun, 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 dun. Then you put, like, this shit out, bro. Anymore, this really got me <laughs> 
<laughs> it really does <laughs> seem crazy. crazy. He's still toned it. He's toned it. He, nah. like, he just wanted to get this off his chest so fucking yeah. bad, he dropped it. And he, he still. I'm not he, a <laughs> Don't clip that. He's still, he's still Dude, he's still spitting though. Like, he's still spitting though. Yeah, he's spitting. What the fuck are you See? doing in my ear, nigga? I don't like. He's going crazy. But he's though. going crazy. The difference still, is Pierre is he's still spitting. You can hear the frustration in his voice. For though. sure. Like you don't, you don't hear um, the, a little bit of defeat too. Yeah, you don't a hear sprinkle. the. He yeah, went, you don't hear the war general yeah, yeah. that has all yeah. the badges yeah, yeah, yeah. on his jacket, like the way he was saying. Right. You hear a and, dude that's rapping really well, but he's his, doing it from a very dark place and. Not for nothing. Not a confident place. It's right. not and even a dark place. This is not dark. For the him. only thing that's dark about this song is yeah. that is, is the production. Sure, mm -hmm. his tone isn't dark. His lyrics aren't dark. His approach to it what, isn't what, dark. What, what dark but, for him? Remember, like, he's, more, I don't, he's more beat. You know what I'm saying? Remember though, Kendrick. Yeah. Kendrick did say Drake, Drake is predictable. So this is like if if I know my uh, opponent is predictable and I hit him with this, I know he's gonna get into his ego. I know he's gonna. You know, start to take stuff to where he shouldn't shouldn't have taken it. Drake, if anything, Drake should have just said, "Yo, I I didn't do it," and then just continue to just hit him over the head. Right. But Drake wanted to double down, and be like, "Yo, I didn't do this, this and that." Yo, you doing too much, bro. Just yeah. you playing right. He played right into his hands. Yeah. That, that was the time to go into whatever else you had left on Kendrick. But that's why people are like, "Was Family Matters the red button?" Because yeah. he's not. But also, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm like retracting a little bit, but like not retracting, but going back, like yeah. uh. You know how he his main point that he opened up with was like, yo, you fell for all this false information that I fed you. I don't think that that is landing as well as he thought it would. Like the Nothing plan, is. he's like, oh, my secret plan. You fell for it, you lying bitch. But then, <laughs> but that isn't like making a bomb like he thought it would. Like this big mastermind plan. I respect it because I think that's a huge fucking plot twist, but yeah, yeah. people don't really care that he did that. And again, nothing's off the table. So I want to be clear. If he did feed him information, oh well, oh well, and that's fire. Like whatever Damn. you got on the table, look, everybody got different guns. <laughs> whatever gun you got, bust it. I'm not mad at it, but also understand what could come from it if you don't use a shotgun on a nigga. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. That's close by. 